I was in the Marines for 11 years, 9 months, and 21 days. Did several combat deployments to Iraq. I served on Fallujah, Bahariya, and Al-Assad. I was originally a tank officer, but uh, I became a logistician. I did, uh, I wrote manuals, I was a precision weapons instructor, I had a lot of different responsibilities. I came back from Iraq and I was out of the Marine Corps within a month of getting back and I was unprepared for the amount of difficulty I would have in adjusting. I didn't have a job when I got out. I really wanted to start my education over again. I'm eligible for the GI Bill now and I compared every state in the union. I weighed the options and Washington was the best state per credit hour for an in-state resident if you do the math across everything it costs to do to get a college education. I actually used the GI Bill on the front end. As a commissioned officer I was an NROTC midshipman for college, so I used my GI Bill on the front end, which meant that for the old GI Bill, I was not eligible. If I wanted to go get a master's degree or start with another bachelor's degree, that would be on me. But the post 9-11 GI Bill, I'm actually eligible for. If I want to go get another four-year degree, I can. Senator Murray actually invited me to a roundtable on employment, specifically the Veterans Employment Act. Uh, so I showed up and I listened and I learned about not only when I was there at that meeting, but when I talked, she actually wrote things down. She took notes. I found that kind of shocking. I didn't know they actually did that. As soon as I got home, I looked her up, her complete political record, and all of her votes. If folks don't know what kind of politician is in charge where they live, you can look them up in Congress and the Senate and see every single vote they voted on. And I'm amazed at the amount of legislators across the country who don't have a whole lot of explaining to do about how what they say in public is not how they vote when, when the chips are down. And Senator Murray is very consistent. Not only that, but she's also a professional. I don't know if being a senator is a tough job. I certainly hope it is. I know right now, if, if it's in session, Senator Murray is at her desk with the phone in her hand. I don't really pay attention to how well she talks the talk, but she walks the walk real, real well.